Hello, this is Blake. I'm a comics collector, art collector, artist, and movie fan, and I do reviews. Um, I was in the comic shop. I was just picking up different things. And I saw all five issues of an old DC series, Hawk and Dove, Carl and, and Barbara Kessel, uh, where the writers and the artist was none other than Rob Liefeld. Rob Liefeld. Rob Liefeld. And this was way back in 1988. I think Rob was like 19 years old at the time. I remember this series. A friend of mine had this. For whatever reason, I picked it up and just wanted to kind of go back in time and, and look at what was going on in comics back then, which was, you know, Rob Liefeld was the, just one of the big names in comics. Looking at the art, Carl Kessel thinks this, and I, I, one of my favorite inkers over John Byrne, who is my favorite artist over the years, was Carl Kessel. Carl Kessel did just a phenomenal job whenever he was inking him while Byrne was working on some of the Superman uh, series. The great stories with Darkseed and, and Bloodsport and Metallo Rampage and all the rest of them. I always thought that Carl Kessel was a really good anchor. The art is really similar to whenever Todd McFarlane was working on The Incredible Hulk and he had somebody else inking over him. I can't remember the person's name. I'll have to look that up. It looks like maybe Carl Kessel was correcting some of the bad anatomy. He left some of it. You know, I'm, I'm not going to dump on, you know, 19-year-old Rob Liefeld. He did a, a really bang-up job on this, I thought. But it, it's interesting that he, he was brought in and they said they're going to do Hawk and Dove, except that they're going to have a new Dove and it's going to be a girl. He actually did a lot of designs for him. He also re redesigned the villain in this, the character called Gus. He was supposed to be a guy in a trench coat and hat. And Rob Liefeld, of course, turned him into a costume guy that looks kind of like Hawk and Dove, except that he's got black and purple instead of their colors. He's got some little frilly things for a mask, and he's got claws. The, the story is kind of about a guy that is a college-age kid who is a complete meathead as, the, you know, as Hawk. He has recently lost his, his prime fighting partner, Dove, who has been killed in some, some manner. He's really shook up about it, really moping around about it. That's kind of the first issue, having him being a little depressed about having lost his partner. At some point, he, he goes out to fight some, some bad guys who turns up, but the female dove. You also have the introduction of Kestrel, who basically murders one or two people very sadistically. In the second issue, you have Hawk rejecting the idea of having a new partner. Dude, you don't hit girls. But meanwhile, the, the villain Kestrel is tracking Hawk down because, well, you think he's wanting to kill him. You know, he's going to destroy him and all that kind of thing. But that's not what he's, he's coming after him for. And in the third issue, Hawk and Dove kind of work together after he was rejecting her all in the second issue. They try to stop a mugging of an old lady, which they do. Kestrel kind of takes the guy that uh, was doing the mugging and takes him under his wing and says he'll give him superpowers, which he does. Okay, the guy that did the mugging, um, who got superpowers, comes and attacks Hawk and Dove. Hawk and Dove, um, you know, basically, they get separated. Um, Hawk discovers some of the other bad guys that he's been going up against in the first couple issues um, are not actually people. They're demons sort of, of some kind from another dimension. And so he starts taking them on, and Dove kind of does, but she gets more into the, the fight with, I believe the guy's name is Shadowblade, which that's a perfect Rob Liefeld name, I think, Shadowblade. Anyway, they defeat the bad guy, Shadow Blood or whatever his name is, Shadowblade. He kind of melts down and gets old and dies because he's the villain has given him some kind of power that he just burns himself out, which I don't know if that has any bearing on any other part of the story. It's just what happens. Dove finally reveals who she is and also tells her origin of how she became Dove, which their, their origin is a little bit cornball for both of them. I mean, they just were in an area where some trouble was happening. They hear some voices telling each one that, hey, if you want superpowers, you'll get superpowers to fight this. And they do, and then they become superheroes by just saying their name. If they say Hawk, he becomes Hawk. She says Dove, she becomes Dove. Hawk and Dove track the villain, and they find the door that when they pass through, they're going to another dimension. And this is where all their power comes from, I suppose, if I'm, I read it right. But they're in this other dimension, and the really interesting thing I think about the, the fifth issue 
when they're in this other dimension fighting Kestrel on his, on his home turf. And then he reveals his plan, which is, spoiler, he wants Hawk to join him. They'll fight along as Blood Brothers. That's been his whole plan all along. Hawk rejects this and finds this out. And then he's like, uh, you know, I'm partners with Dove now. But take a hike, Buster. Then there's a Desix Machina. The villain basically is destroyed by his extra-dimensional masters. I'm making it sound far worse than it is. Rob Liefeld had drawn this book sideways because he figured, well, once they go into this another dimension, it's going to be different, so he's going to draw it different. So he drew it sideways. He said he talked to the writers about it, the Kessels, and they were fine with it. But then the editor gets it like a week before it goes to print, and he freaks out and demanded that Rob Liefeld go back and redraw it like it's supposed to be. Basically he refused and said, nope, I already got paid for it, you know, that's your problem. And then he said basically the editor called every editor that he knew and told them never work with this this guy. It's uh, It was too late, you couldn't put Rob back into a bottle. He was out. The positive things about the book that I don't think they amped it up enough, but they were kind of trying to, to make Hawk this really oafish idiot. I don't think they went far enough with that because there were some chuckles in here, but they really should have went over the top of that. But as it is, it was kind of funny in parts. But the bad thing about this is just the villain has no real reason for being other he's just trying to team up with Hawk and he kills people along the way. I did like the art in this though, the combination of Rob Liefeld and Carl Kessel. I mean it's not perfect. There's some pages that are better than others, some panels better than others, but I thought it was a pretty a solid job by a 19 year old who was working at TC Comics doing a five issue miniseries, which is pretty awesome. I think the dialogue is kind of funny in parts. Not quite funny enough though, yeah, but the, the story, there is not much, there's not much of a story here. Yeah, and I guess that's it. Thank you for watching, and I hope I didn't bore you, and I hope you'll come back for the next one, whenever that is. Thanks. Bye. Rob Lightheld.